Okay. So um, going on talking about initiatives, um, what are some Navy personnel initiatives that you would like to talk about and what is Sailor 2025? Uh, Sailor 2025 uh, you know, really started out as a, as a group of independent initiatives just to try and uh, get our arms around how we might modernize our personnel system. Uh, today we've really coalesced that into uh, about 43 different initiatives that are, that are alive and well. And those initiatives uh, fall into three major categories. The first one is to really completely modernize our entire personnel system. You know, uh, we would envision someday where folks can uh, interact with their detailers on their, on their personal uh, mobile devices, that you would be able to uh, have complete transparency on all the jobs that might be available for your next assignment, and that you could uh, negotiate that on sort of a, a LinkedIn type of, uh, of venue. Um, we want more flexibility. Uh, things like the career intermission program, things like graduate education opportunities or initial four-year degree education opportunities for folks. Uh, and, and just the ability to have choices, flexibility, and transparency in, into the process. The second level of effort is about modernizing our training. Uh, we call the whole group of initiatives Ready Relevant Learning. It's about getting the right training to the right sailor at the right time. Rather than going all the way through an initial training pipeline of, of what we call today A school and C school, uh, in certain ratings it might be uh, advantageous to break that up into the blocks throughout the career so that as you come back for your second or third C tour you're getting updated training on, uh, on updated and modernized combat systems or whatever systems you operate in, in a particular career field. And then the other aspect of this is not only the right training at, at the right time, but it's the training delivered in the right manner. And we're uh, proud to be sort of leading the way for the Department of Defense in some innovative training mechanisms. It's things like use of artificial intelligence tutors for our cyber warfare experts. It's things like uh, computer-aided training devices that are essentially rooms full of flat screens that could be reconfigured to be a, a submarine radio room uh, one hour. The next, the next hour it's a, a Tomahawk vertical launch console. Uh, and, and that's designed to, after folks have some initial familiar, familiarity with their jobs, now they can get the reps and sets necessary to become really confident in their skills. Uh, and then there's, there are other things like simulators and uh, 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 other reconfigurable training systems that help us, again, practice more frequently, practice in between sea tours, go get to your ship uh, ready to do your job with very little ramp up uh, whenever you get to the ship. Okay. And then the third piece of it is really enriching our, our culture. That's about the life work balance, that's about uh, family friendly services, more child care options, more child care hours. It's about a culture of fitness. Uh, being fit all year round, not just running twice a year for your physical readiness test. 